Hi there and welcome to our next video on mixtures. This is a continuation from our last video, but in this video we're going to be looking at exam questions. So, substances can be pure or they can be mixtures. Which of these are mixtures? So, option A, oxygen. This is not a mixture because it's an element in the periodic table. Carbon dioxide is a compound because it is made out of elements, carbon and oxygen, which are chemically combined. So it's really hard to break them apart. Gold is um, an element in the periodic table and air is a mixture of gases. So we know that this is going to be air. Circling air would give you one mark. Next question. Which method is the best for separating sodium chloride from a, so a solution of sodium chloride in water? Um, a. Filtration B. Fractional distillation C. Crystallization D. Paper chromatography The correct answer to this would be crystallization because remember when we're using this uh, separation technique we have crystals left behind and over here we're separating out um, sodium chloride from a solution so we have this sodium chloride which is uh, solid from, uh, from a liquid so this means that the water will just evaporate and we will have crystals left behind. Next question, which of the following separation method relies on differences in boiling points? A. Fractional distillation and simple distillation. B. Fractional distillation and filtration. C. Simple distillation and paper chromatography. Or D. Filtration and paper chromatography. The correct answer to this would be A and that would give you one mark. This is because, remember, distillation separates out two liquids from a solution. Simple distillation separates out two liquids which have different boiling points. And fractional distillation can separate out two liquids which have similar boiling points. Filtration over here separates out an insoluble solid from a solution. Uh, it separates out an insoluble solid from a uh, solvent. Simple distillation and paper, paper chromatography. Paper chromatography separates out two dyes in an ink. And filtration we've seen and paper chrom chromatography we've seen as well. So we know that the answer to this would be A. And that would give you one mark. Next question. A, B, C and D are mixtures of food colorings. They are investigated using paper chromatography. The diagram shows the chromat chromatogram uh, at the end of the experiment. So this is our chroma chromatogram. Which mixture contains um, an insoluble food coloring? So this is our line we've drawn and we see a spot on the line. So this means that this food coloring is insoluble because it has stuck to the line so we know that the correct answer to this would be b and that would give you one mark our final question explain why you shouldn't use a pen to draw a line on the filter paper for paper chromatography the correct answer to this would be the pen ink might dissolve into the solvent and rise up onto the filter paper and that answer would give you one mark so if you go back to this question this pair this line is drawn in pencil not with pen because as you can see these different colored dyes are moving up this means if this um, line was drawn with pen then some random dyes will interfere in the experiment and it won't be a fair test so it's important that you draw this line with pencil and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe and hit the like button